from the Cortland High School Gymnasium. Good evening, everybody. Donnie Johnson along with Gary Deal. Tonight, we bring you the semifinals of the Battlefield District Girls Tournament, the Chancellor Chargers, and the top-seeded Eastern View Cyclones. Cyclones come in with a record of 15 and two, 11 and one in the Battlefield District. The heavy favorite over the fourth seeded Chargers, 11 and nine and nine and four, Gary. Yeah, I expect uh, Eastern View to come out tonight with a solid performance led by coach Mike McCombs, who's a very good coach. I expect uh, Trinity Washington and McKenna Warren and uh, Angie uh, Hyunku to have good games tonight. Hyunku leads the team with uh, averaging 15 points and six rebounds. Uh, McKenna Warren had 31 points the other night against Caroline, averaging 11-11 for the year. She's been fighting some injuries, but she's playing good basketball. Well, one of the keys is gonna be these Washington girls. They are good, Destiny and Trinity, and uh, they can handle the ball, break press, and uh, they're just good ball players. Mike McCombs has a very solid team all around. A couple of good players to come off the bench, and uh, they should be the favorite to win this ball game. Now the winner will play James Monroe. There is no other semifinal game tonight. The Cortland Cougars who finished number two tested positive, but one of their girls tested positive, so they had to forfeit their game tonight against James Monroe. So James Monroe will play the winner of this game. And if it's Culpepper, uh, if it's Eastern View, it will be at Eastern View tomorrow night. And if it's Chancellor, it will be at Chancellor tomorrow night. But we're hoping it's gonna be at Eastern View. Well, it's good to be here uh, televising a girls game. Uh, if the boys win tomorrow night, we'll televise that, I've been told. So it's a great time for basketball. It is, all right. Uh, we're just about set for the opening tip off. The Chancellor Chargers playing the Eastern View Cyclones girls in the first, uh, second round, the semifinals of the Battlefield District Tournament. You're watching Eastern View Cyclone Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service and a cornerstone of our community. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air. 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center. The service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock, and equine. Since 1932, CFC Farm and Home Center. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with Cash Imprints, 317-1473. More than just a respected funeral home, Found and Sons supports youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Gary Deal, get the lineups for us as they come out. Well, for Chancellor Donnie, number two, Caitlin Bestick. Number five, Talia Johnson. Number 10, Reagan Bestick. And number 11, Kendall Scott. And number 15, Maya Johnson. All right, the coach, coach, I'm sorry, coached by Antoine Gay. All right, the uh, Eastern View Cyclones, 15 and two overall, 11 and one in the Battlefield District. The uh, Chancellor, 11 and nine and nine and four. And who we got for Eastern View, Gary? We got number two, Angie Ayanku. We got number three, Trinity Washington. Number five, McKenna Warren. Number 11, Saniya Brown. And number 23, Destiny Washington. All right, this should be a good ball game. As uh, we said, the winner moves on. Now, Cortland hopes to have its COVID problems cleared up and play in the, the uh, regional tournament next week. And of course, Eastern View is probably gonna be the number one seed in the region, but
both the boys and the girls number one seed in the region next week and they will both play on Tuesday night at Eastern View. Just about set to go. Well, I expect a good game. I expect Trinity Washington to control this game. Uh, and Coach McComb said earlier this week that she's at the center of everything they do. And so I'm expecting a good performance out of her tonight. And the jump ball didn't work because the person that jumps can't catch it. And Kendall Scott ended up doing that. So it's the Eastern View Cyclone basketball. Working it down low. Outside three-point shot is up and good by Saniah Brown. Three to nothing. Eastern View takes an early lead. Working outside. Caitlin Bestick. Bestick sisters in here tonight and down low. Pass intended for Reagan Bestick is thrown out of bounds. Eastern View looks like they're in a 3-2 or 1-2-2. Two, two. Not sure which yet. From the corner and a three. Caitlin Bestick. And we are tied at three. Both these teams coming out hot. And ball knocked out of bounds. Angie Yanku working it in and now we'll throw it in. Way outside of Washington. Warren going in the middle, gets the ball knocked away. Delaya Johnson. Bestick, no. Washington, Trinity, all the way. Can't get it to fall, Warren follows. Warren's tough on those boards, Donnie. McKenna Warren is 5-3 Eastern View. Like I said, she had 31 points the other night against Caroline. That's a lot of points in the girls game. It is. Eastern View is, plays good tough defense. Look at that by Destiny Washington. Destiny drives. Left-handed. Off the glass for two more, seven to three, Eastern View. Eastern View only gives up uh, 37 points a game. So they have a good defense. Maya Johnson, three-point shot will not go. Three-pointer from outside is off the front iron. Chancellor the other way. Johnson working the offense, trying to work it in. Eastern View in the zone. I think they're in a 1-2-2, two, two, Donnie, just the same as Chancellor. Off the glass, no good. Scramble for the ball and coming down with it is Bestick, and she is tied up. Arrow pointing in the direction of the Chargers, so Chancellor will retain possession. That's a two, Kendall Scott. Yeah, she had too much time to square up and shoot that. Uh, Warren was out, was late getting out uh, to defend her on that shot. Wide open, and that shot won't go by Hyunku. Scott, and a steal. Nice play there by Sanaya Brown. Hyunku, in and out. McKenna Warren forces it back up. Nice rebound there on the offensive boards. 9-5. Cyclones by four. That three-point shot may have been partially blocked by Saniah Brown, way off the mark. Warren at the right place at the right time, comes up with a loose ball and puts it in. I think we understand now how she got 31 points the other night, Donnie. She gets a lot of baskets underneath in transition and also off offensive rebounds. 11 to five, Eastern View leading, 425 to go. In the first period from Cortland High School, the semifinals of the Battlefield District Girls Tournament. Johnson almost thrown away. Two-pointer 
No good by Delea Johnson. And it will be Eastern View basketball. Remind you of our live sponsor, Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Pressure broken by Washington and two points by Saniah Brown on an easy bucket underneath. Good pass by Trinity Washington that time. 13-5, eight-point lead by the Cyclones, number one seed against the number four seed. And a whistle. Foul on somebody will send Kendall Scott to the line. The foul was on Trinity, Washington. First shot is up and in. The stands are as empty as uh, in Beijing. <laughs> There's nobody on that far side. We got a good crowd on this side. Yeah, Culpepper brought, brought a good crowd tonight, I believe. And uh, they travel with the girls. And uh, it's good to see that. All right, coming in the ball game now is Anastasia Arvon for the uh, Chancellor Charges. And we got a traveling violation. Travel is going to be calling in Destiny, Washington. So it's Chancellor Ball. Vestic throws it in. Down the lane, turn, shot, no good, but a foul is going to be called. And that foul is going to be called on Trinity Washington. That's, that's her, her second. That's her second, yep. And that could present a problem. I think uh, Coach McCombs will probably take her out and give her a little breather here and try to make sure she doesn't pick up that third foul in the first half. Kendall Scott misses the first. We'll have a second. Rims out. Brown, and a little bit too hard on that pass, and Destiny Washington couldn't handle it down on the baseline. Yeah, here comes uh, Layla Hackley uh, for Trinity. And Layla's a freshman. She's a good little player. She can uh, nail those threes, and uh, she's developed quite a bit in the last couple of years. Chancellor with the basketball. Johnson outside. In the corner, wide open shot, won't go. Back up and in, Kendall Scott in the lane. 13 to nine, Chancellor back to within four pressure. Pass ahead, Ayanku can't get it to go and Chancellor on the offense again. Oh, nice play down the down the middle of the lane by Maya Johnson. 13 to 11, Chancellor back to within two. We got a ball game here now. Hackley out front. Brown has it taken away. War. And our steal at the other end. A young coup. Two on one, Hackley. A Yanku shot won't go. There's McKenna Warren with a nice pass under. To Destiny Washington, puts it in and 15 to 11 our score. Eastern View is leading with 144. And while we got a moment, we'll remind you about able heating and air answering any and all of your questions that you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they're able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, more than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels. 
so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Bound and Sons, 825-3530. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints, 317-1473. And CFC Farm and Home Center, the service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock, and your horses since 1932. Three-pointer from the corner is good. Maya Johnson. Yeah, we've got to extend that defense a little bit. That's the second one she's had. It's been wide open, so uh, I'm sure uh, Coach McCombs will have his players come out on the shooters. McKenna Warren down the lane. Can't get it to fall. Puts it back up. We'll get the basket and we'll go to the line. 17 to 14. And McKenna Warren will be at the line to tr try to complete a conventional three point play. That's eight points for McKenna already. So she's uh, controlling those boards down low. Ain't got that one to roll in, 18-14. Coming down on a minute to go in the first period. Maya Johnson, and a hand in there by Hyanku. Delia Johnson gets it in the back court. Kendall Scott. Oh, I love what McCombs is doing there. Look what he's doing now, Donnie. He's gone boxing one on uh, on Kendall Scott. I love that play. And here comes Warren all the way, blocked from behind, but she gets it back and gets it outside. Hayanku, got it. Little six or eight footer. 20 to 14, under a half minute to go, first period. Eastern View on top. Picking her up at half court too. I like that boxing one on, on Scott. It's, it's a good scheme that uh, Coach McCombs has come up with. And Reagan Bestick is fouled in the middle with 9.8 seconds to go. First period. Not a shooting foul, foul on the floor. Not sending anybody to the line. Down the lane, its shot will not fall. Four seconds. Can we get a nice shot? Hayanku. Oh, off the front iron, no good. First quarter comes to an end with a score. The Eastern View Cyclones 20, the Chancellor Chargers 14. You're watching Eastern View Cyclone Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service and a cornerstone of our community. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center, the service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock and equine since 1932 cfc farm and home center from shirts to banners and everything in between imprint your message on the community with cash imprints 317-1473 more than just a respected funeral home found and sons supports youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders found and sons 825-3530 high scoring ball game gary deal the uh Eastern View Cyclones putting up 20 in that opening period here in the semifinals of the Battlefield District Girls Tournament against the Chancellor Chargers from Cortland High School. And McKenna Warren leading the way. Yeah, I'm curious to see if uh, Coach McCombs is going to come out and stay in that boxing one that he had on Scott. I love uh, gimmick defenses like that, triangle and two, boxing one, if you got a uh, a good player on the other team. It's uh, one player that's basically dominating the game for their offense. 
I think they've gone back to the one two two now, but he was in that box and one. Oh, he's in the box and one now. Oh, uh, Sinai Brown is on Kendall Scott. Yes, she is. All yep, the way. Still in there. I like that. Yeah, Three pointer shot. from the corner to Leah Johnson. 20 to 17. Chancellor will not go away. Warren, round for three. Cannot get the roll. Bestick comes down with the ball. Hasty Beal on the attack again. Angie Ayanku. Now they work it down to the left, to the right side. Ayanku wants to take that shot and won't. Brown. Off balance shot, she got it. She shot that from the palm of her hand. Yeah, that was that was a good squared up. She got squared up before she shot the ball that time, though, and let it roll off her fingertips. That was a good shot by uh, Brown. 22 to 17. East of you still on top. Caitlin Bestick down low is fouled. Or rather, Reagan Bestick. I think that was on McKenna Warren. That's her first foul. We don't want to get her in foul trouble. First one goes in by Reagan Bestick. Yeah, Trinity Washington is still on the bench, and uh, I think it's a smart move by Coach Pacombs. While, the, while they still have a good, comfortable, decent lead, lead to keep her out there so she won't get in foul trouble. Candace Brown is now in for Eastern View. There's a three-point shot. That's good defense by Layla Hackley that time. She extended on the uh, shooter, and uh, that, that was good defense. Layla has the ball now. Working against Bestick over to Samaya Brown. Down low, Ayanku missed the shot. Had a nice one underneath, but I think she was a little bit too far under the basket. Bestic, short. Trinity Washington had it and lost it. And Washington comes up with a basketball and draws a foul. Nice hustle down low with, for Destiny. She's uh, hustling down there, giving 100% and uh, controlling the boards down there along with uh, uh, McKenna. There's only two team fouls on the Chargers. Ayanku dumps it off and she anticipated that uh, Hackley was going to keep coming, and she didn't. Johnson, three-pointer, way off the mark. Scramble for the loose ball, and Hackley comes up. Kendall Scott working on her. Now, Destiny Washington. I think Layla gets that ball at the top of the key. She's got to look for a shot a little bit more. Angie Ayanku is fouled. 5.06 to go. We are in the second period, 22 to 18. Four point lead for the Eastern View Cyclone girls. The winner of this game meets uh, the James Monroe Yellow Jackets tomorrow night for the championship of the tournament. Eastern View, of course, number one seed in this tournament, regular season champs, and already have a ride to the region. Bianca's second shot is in, 23-18, a five-point lead. I like uh, Hayanku's uh, poise on the court. She handles the ball really well. She makes good basketball moves and good basketball decisions. Um, I like the way she plays the game. Bestick in the corner to Johnson, out front. Defense! 
Jumping from the corner is no good. And Yonko, however, is going to be charged with a foul. That boxing one is really taking Scott. Completely out of the game. Com out of the game. Very good move there. Um, I think it's going to pay off because she was starting to penetrate and be a problem for the Eastern View defense. And now, since Coach McCombs has gone to that defense, it's slowing her down. Now, whether they can stop the, the, the long three-pointers, that's a different story. William Fissel admits the first, misses the second. Shot up by Scott, no good. Rebound and a foul. Or did they call a foul? Oh, yes, they did. They called it on um, Kendall Scott, her first. Ayanko again, goes in, stops, pulls it back out. Each of you all of a sudden has hit a little drought here. They can't get anything in. Well, I think they missed Trinity Washington to some degree, and uh, uh, but I think Coach McCombs is smart to keep her out of the game just to make sure she doesn't get in foul trouble at the end of the game when it really counts. Kendall Scott on Destiny Washington, but the Cyclones break the press. Tayanku for three, in and out. And Destiny Washington. And who's the foul going to be called on? Foul is going to be called on Destiny. Nope, it's not. And, and McKenna Warren's on the bench too, Donnie, so that's Two of the better players on the Eastern View team is on the bench right now. So that's why we're seeing a little lull, lull in the offensive end. A young coup for three. That picks up the pace, 26-19. Yeah, she's got a nice game. Oh, she's good. Good ball player. Johnson driving off the glass. Nope. Vestic to loose ball. Kendall Scott will not go. And ripped away by Sanaya Bar uh, Hackley. As, as Layla gets uh, more, more developed and starts getting stronger, she's just a freshman. She's going to be a good little player, I believe. 308 to go in the first half. 26-19, Eastern View leading Chancellor. Semifinals of the Battlefield District Tournament. Working little clock. Now they get it inside and almost thrown away there. Johnson had a hand on it. Couldn't control. I'd like see Laylee right, right there. That's, that's her shot. See, she passed up on that shot. But Hayanku. Good pass, though. Uh, good pass to Aranku. I think Hayanku is uh, who... Mike McCombs wants to shoot. And answering right there is Talela Johnson. And we have a timeout on the floor. Timeout, and we'll be back in 30 seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Cash Imprints, 317-1473. Able Heating and Air, 718 7556. CFC Farm and Home Center, 825 2200. Found in Sons, 825 3530. Cyclones have led uh, all the way, Gary, but uh, Cortland, our Chancellor just won't go away. They, they keep hanging in there. Well, we got McKenna uh, Warren on the bench, and we got Trinity Washington on the bench. But I think McCombs is thinking about maybe saving them a little bit for tomorrow night. I mean, he's, he's expecting to win this game, and he don't want to wear his players out, uh, you know, and, and, want to, and wants them to be ready for tomorrow night as well. Well, Trinity Washington has two fouls, so that's uh, kind right. of a deciding factor in that. He doesn't want three fouls in the first half on her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice play. 
Destiny Washington off balance, just flipped that one up and got the roll, 31-22. Johnson again, couldn't get that second one to go. And Bestick comes in and ties up a young coup. Arrow pointing in the direction of the Cyclones. You know how Yonku is just a freshman, Donnie. Her and Layla Hackley are freshmen. He's got a good team coming back. Mike McCombs, good coach. Hackley. Seems like there's been a Hackley on the Culpepper team since the beginning of time. Yeah, I was, I was disappointed to see Devin not playing this year. He's, I coached him. He's a very good player. And uh, I think he could have helped that Eastern View team. Candace Brown throws it up. No. Hayanku, no. And Brown, or somebody down there is foul. And I don't know whether it was Hayanku or Brown, but Brown is going to go to the line, so apparently it was her. One eleven left in the first half, 31-22. Eastern View on top. Brown misses the first. Anastasia Arlon comes in for the Chargers. Candace Brown. And got the second one. One out of two. 10-point lead now, 32-22 for the Cyclones. Coming down on a minute to play in the first half. Okay, they've gone back to the 1-2-2. Two, two. And Bestick finds an opening down low and goes in for an easy bucket. Backcourt pressure now. Ayanku down the lane, puts it up. No. Ayanku battling for the ball. Cannot get it, but it's Eastern View ball anyway. <laughs> 34 seconds left in the first half. Brown down low as it kicked away and kicked again and loose ball. Block. Nice block there by Yanku. Oh, nice pass. I like that. Work it to the middle. 13 seconds. Brown. And she had the shot and didn't take it. Tried to get it over to Destin and Washington. One pass too many there. So the Chargers may get the last shot, hopefully, of the first half. 8.7 seconds, and now the clock starts. Three-pointer from outside, and Chancellor cuts the margin to five as we go to the halftime break. From Cortland High School, halftime, Battlefield District semifinals with Eastern View leading the Chancellor charges by a score of 32 to 27. We'll be back in a moment. You're watching Eastern View Cyclone Basketball, the Culpepper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service and a cornerstone of our community. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center the service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock, and equine since 1932. CFC Farm and Home Center. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints, 317-1473. 
More than just a respected funeral home, Found and Sons supports youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Gary Deal, I would say it was all Eastern View in that first half, but then we look at the scoreboard and it's 32 to 27. Chancellor just refuses to go away in this uh, Battlefield District semifinal game. Well, Scott finally got open there and uh, I think Coach McCombs was a little disappointed that one of the guards didn't pick up Scott as she came across half court. And uh, that kept him close, that three-pointer there at the end of the game, uh, end of the first half, excuse me, and uh, uh, it kept Chancellor close. So this, all, we always say the first five minutes of the second half is very important. Outside Bestick, cross court, Johnson, Kendall Scott. Can't get that one to go. Shania Brown comes down with it. Trinity Washington back in, playing with two fouls. Set on the bench uh, a lot in the second quarter. Angie Yanko gets it in to McKenna Warren and puts it off the glass. No good. Good drive by McKenna there, though. And they're not playing a box and one on Kendall Scott right now. Well, I think Coach McCombs is keeping them guessing, so uh, he just goes to it at different times of the game. Baseline jumper, two-pointer. It's too easy there. That was a wide open shot. Galen Bestick. 32-29, three-point lead for Eastern View. Maybe we don't let these people think that they can get back in it. Trinity Washington almost lost it. Yeah, Eastern View is playing a little bit tight right now. They need something good to happen here. Need to kind of work the ball, get that ball zipping around the perimeter a little bit more. There's too much dribbling going on right now. Down low, Destiny Washington can't get it to go. Kendall Scott. We keep an eye on Scott over here. From Another the corner, wide open shot. Three pointer will not go, but underneath. Two shots, three shots. And a jump ball is called. It will be Eastern View ball. Chancellor had three shots at the basket and could not get it to go. Maya Johnson took that three and couldn't hit it. And then two offensive rebounds. And now the Chargers who think they can play with Eastern View, a little pressure. Looking at Warren. And she walked. No, the jump ball, jump ball. Either way, it's going to turn over to Chancellor. And the Chargers with a three-point Shot could tie this ball game, 32-29. Well, I think Chancellor, if they go into that press, that's playing right into Eastern View's hands because I think they have the athletes uh, and the ball handlers to beat that press. Bestie tries to split the two defenders and can't. Johnson from the corner, no. Rebound comes down to Washington. Trinity. All the way. And a foul on the floor before the shot. She wasn't going to give that ball up to anybody. She was going straight for the basket. She's tired of sitting on the bench. Yeah, Trini's a good ball player. She, she handles the ball well. She uses her left hand well. And uh, she showed it in that transition that time. First shot is no good. She only had, what, two points in the first half? Two points and two fouls. Uh, nines were the magic numbers in the first half. Uh, Hayanku had nine, uh, McKenna Warren had nine, and Scott had nine for uh, Chancellor. And Sonia Brown did a good job on Scott once she did, went, to that, uh, might, went to that box and won. Missed that one. Destiny Washington puts it back in, 34-29. Needed that one badly. Yep, that was a big shot there. Good rebound by Destiny. Scott.
Scott with the ball. And we have a timeout call by Antoine Gay. And while we get a timeout, we'll remind you that our live sponsor for these broadcasts, Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service and a cornerstone of our community. 547-3673. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you might have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center, the service knowledge and the products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock, and equine since 1932. Gary Deal was a boy. <laughs> 4.53 to go in the third period. Kendall's got outside. Ayanku is guarding her, pull coming out. And we got a foul, and that's going to be called on Destiny Washington. Good call by the ref that time. Feet got tangled up there, but uh, definitely a foul. Maya Johnson at the line. Got the first one. 34-30. These guys are hanging a little too close for me. I want to see Eastern View come up with a run and put it away. 34-31, back to a three-point game. Almost a backcourt. Trinity Washington. Yeah. Ayanku way out front. Working the ball around the perimeter. I think Destiny is going to have to penetrate either her or Ayanka. It's a good shot there. Ayanku can't get it to go. They are not getting it in there to McKenna Warren like they did early in the ball game. And Kendall Scott is going to be called for traveling. 4-10 to go. Ball turns over to the Cyclones. Winner plays James Monroe tomorrow night for the Battlefield District Tournament Championship. HGV won the regular season championship. Bianco stops and pops and got yeah. it. That was that was good penetration there. That's what uh, Hyanku and uh, Trinity are going to have to do. They're going to have to penetrate into that lane, and that's going to open up uh, McKenna Warren down low for a bounce pass in the pocket. Oh, yeah, that little 10-footer is open. Kendall Scott can't get it. Scramble for the ball. Went out of bounds, and I'm not sure who touched it last, but the official says we're going to give it to Chancellor. Anastasia Arvon will throw it in. And the foul of somebody, I guess. I'm not sure what that was. Anyway, it was a stoppage momentarily. Chancellor, three-point shot outside. Kendall Scott can't get it to go. Ayanku. Warren, now we got something going. As Warren goes to the basket, puts it up. Doesn't get the basket, but she drew the foul. You know, maybe providing they win this ball game, uh, Eastern View needs a tight ball game because when they get the regionals, it's not going to be a cakewalk like it was in the district. No, I agree, Donnie. They're going to face some tough teams and play some close games. With, with some bigger personnel to play against, too. Warren missed the first one. McKenna puts the second one in, 37-31, back to a six-point lead. Biggest lead of the night for Eastern View has been 10 at 32-22. Nice anticipation there, but couldn't get it to go. Bestick, that's a two, she was on the line. 37-33. There we go, some penetration. That's where there it is. There you go, and Trinity Washington off the glass. 39-33. Two minutes and 40 seconds left 
in the third quarter. Bestick missed it. Tried it again. Scram off the ball. Jump ball, error pointing in the direction of the Cyclones. It goes with the uh, full court press again by Chancellor. I, I feel like that Easterview can break this and score off of it. Well, we'll find out in a second. McKenna Warren in back court finally gets it over to Destiny. Three-pointer, Brown, no good. Rebound, Warren. Kicks it out. Ayanku, no. Follow-up is good by Shania Brown. 41-33. There's a little opening, eight-point lead. Under two minutes. Almost lost it out of bounds that far side. And not sure what that was, but uh, it's going to turn the ball over to Easterview, so it's good. Minute 49, McKenna Warren. Dribbles past the press, all the way down the lane, too hard off the glass. But his charge uh, is going to go to the line because charge with a foul is Reagan Bestick. I assume these two girls, Reagan and Caitlin Bestick, are sisters. Well, it's just like observation. You say we observed the other night. So we assume, you know what assume is, right, Donnie? It's the mother of all screw-ups. <laughs> That's exactly what assume is. Every time I assume something, it works out wrong. Warren puts that one in, 42-33, nine-point lead. Nice hand there by Hyanku. Then at 33, Johnson in the middle, best to and stay on Scott. Don't leave Scott. I wouldn't, don't want to see her shooting those threes. Trinity Washington all the way. Stops. Can't get it to go. And underneath the foul is called. And it... Uh, We'll see who it was called on, but uh, Warren will not go to the line. Foul is on uh, Reagan Bestie. It will be Eastern View basketball, but not a shooting foul on the floor. No shot involved. Coach McCombs got the stack out of bounds play working. The girls move well. I like that. Ayanku. Oh, and nice. Look at. Nice tie. Look at Destiny Washington in there fighting and scrapping for that ball. Nice tie up by Destiny Washington there. It was a good hustle and didn't give up on the play. And uh, that's what it takes to win ball games, Donnie. Under a minute now, third period. And there goes Scott down the middle. And she is fouled. Foul is going to be calling Sanaya Brown. That's her first. Kendall Scott puts the first one in. She's got a good game. And, and if I was coaching her, I'd be having the ball in her hand a lot more and have her doing a lot more with the ball. I think she's going to have to have a really good game in order for them to beat Eastern View. Oh, yeah. Well, and that box and one kind of put her on hold there in that first half. I'd be setting her picks all night long if I was coaching, I can tell you. She's a good little ball player, 42-35. Washington 
drives all the way as it blocked from behind by Johnson. And McKenna Warren will come back in and Hackley will go out for the last 38 seconds. Out front. We can work some clock here. I think maybe that's what Coach McComb is doing. Trinity Washington to McKenna down low. Destiny Washington, no place to go. Got to get out of there, and she finally did. Nice. Uh, look at that, McKenna Warren. Put that ball in there. 44 to 35. McKenna Warren has excellent footwork. I love the way she operates under the basket with those uh, short steps and basketball moves. Excellent ball player. Shot from outside will not go for Maya Johnson. We have two Johnsons in there, Talia number five and Maya number 15. Five seconds. And we will not get a shot off. Third quarter comes to an end with a score. The Eastern View Cyclones 44, the Chancellor Chargers 35. You're watching Eastern View Cyclone basketball on the Culpepper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service and a cornerstone of our community. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center, the service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock, and equine since 1932. CFC Farm and Home Center. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with Cash Imprints, 317-1473. More than just a respected funeral home, Found and Sons supports youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Gary Deal, we forgot to mention, or we failed to mention here, that the Eastern View boys have defeated the King George uh, Foxes by a score of 64 to 53 to move into the uh, championship game tomorrow night in the Battlefield District. Which we will be at, and we'll be, we'll be televising uh, live, and uh, look forward to that. Uh, who are they playing, Donnie, do you know? They haven't finished the second game yet. McKenna Warren with a little hook shot will not go. We started at seven that uh, at, up at Eastern View. Those games started at six and um, seven thirty, so they're a little behind us. A young coup. Ooh, sweet, sweet, beautiful. Squared up on that shot. Concentrated. And uh, really was a, a picture-perfect shot. Uh, I love her game, like I said earlier. Biggest lead of the night, 12 now for Eastern View, 47 to 35. And after two shots, Cyclones come away with the ball. Chancellor ended up with it. No, she didn't rim. Yeah, I agree, Donnie. I, didn't, I, didn't, I thought she kept that pivot foot, uh, the left pivot foot stationary. I think she, that she's lobbying her case too and I kind of agree with her. That's a little Carly Simon right there called anticipation. Yeah. But you're too old to remember that. No, Carly Simon, I remember Carly Simon. Okay. She, I'm, you should have said I was too I'm too young to remember that. No, you 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 too young, Donnie. No, too you, young. I'm you, too young. You were probably already seen how when she was doing that. 47-37. Remember who likes this, the shuffleboard game? <laughs> oh, I watched curling all afternoon. Oh, and McKenna Warren will be charged with an offensive foul. Johnson set up and took the charge, and the foul is called on Warren. I saw, I saw where Satchel Page at 59 years old Saw that on somewhere today through uh, three scoreless innings in, in a baseball game. Yep. Now, he was back in your day, right, Donnie? Yeah, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you know, I, that actually was, uh, I remember that. 59 years old, and they talk about Brady at 44 or whatever. It was amazing. Oh, and we got a jump ball on that one. There was a guy at pitched for Pittsburgh who was a rookie at 50. His name was Diomedes Olivo back in the early 60s. That's a good pull there, Donnie. Hey, I was a Pirate fan in those days. Willis, oh. Willis Stargell back then. That was no, after this, him. this was pre-Willie Stargell. This was Roberto Clemente. Oh, okay. Johnson lost it. And coming up with it is Washington. Gives it to her sister. And Trinity will bring it down. And Coach McCombs running the play here. I, I, I think it's pick and roll. Yep, pick and roll. A Yanku off the Iron there is no good, and out of bounds touched last by Sonia Brown. I like I like seeing Yanku. That's what Coach McComb is saying now. I like seeing how Yanku uh, look for uh, McKenna Warren there because she was open. If all, that, all she had to do was bounce pass in the pocket, and McKenna would have had a layup there. So that's one one way that I think uh, Yanku can maybe improve her game a little bit and get that uh, peripheral vision going and be able to make those passes. Well, she'll improve as time goes on. She's just a freshman, Donnie. Absolutely. Testing. Dumps it off. Johnson in the corner. Trying to get it over to Scott, and they finally do. Working on a Yanku has to give it up. Three-pointer, no good. And a Yanku comes up with the ball and is tied up. Maya Johnson. And we're going to time out on the floor. And with that time out, we will remind you of our live sponsor, Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service, a cornerstone of our community. 547 3673. Able Heating and Air. There's peace of mind knowing they're able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718. 7556. Five, Found in Sons, more than a respected funeral home, they support youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found in Sons, 825 3530. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with cash imprints, 317 1473. And finally, CFC Farm and Home Center, the service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, and livestock since 1932. And they sell seeds out there, and it is almost gardening time. All we got to do is get the ground to thaw out. Well, I know you're itching to get in your garden, Donnie. I am. And I just, again, want to say thank you to Scott Found and Found and Sons for committing to our Fieldhouse Rec Center. What a uh, kind contribution uh, uh, Scott Found gave to our rec center, $25,000 this year, and we appreciate him. Double teamed in the back as Washington gets it away to a Yonku. Trinity. Angie Ayanku wanted to take that knot. Warren backs in. Can't get it, follow up, no. And rebound Bestick, and a foul is gonna be called, I think, on Saniah Brown. I think um, McKenna Warren is really good inside. I think she could be even better if she just took her time, just a hair, just a split second more when she tries to finish some of those shots because uh, she rushes sometimes and uh, doesn't really concentrate on the finish. And I think she has more time than she thinks she does. And once she learns that, she's going to be getting 25 or 30 every game. Kendall Scott out front. Latoya Johnson. Trying to work that ball in. They can't, but they get it to Scott for three, and she cannot hit it. McKenna Warren right there to clear. Ahead to Saniah Brown. Ayanku wide open, short. Got it back. Destiny Washington driving. 
off the glass. Nope, but she is fouled. Foul's going to be called in ring and bestie. I like, I like the way Coach McCombs coaches because he coaches a little bit like I do. You don't want to run plays every time down the court. You want to play that motion offense and, and let the game come to the kids. But at times, in order to get the flow into the uh, the kids get flow into the game, you need to call a play to uh, space them in certain positions on the court and work it down from a in a low block sometimes. And 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 they when they do that and they score, then that gives them some confidence and they get in the, into the flow later on. So it, in other words, mix it up. Mix it up exactly. Second shot is good. Destiny Washington makes them both. Again, a 12-point lead, 49-37. to 37. That's been the biggest lead of the Cyclones tonight. Under four minutes. Besting took it to the hoop and banged it off the glass. Trinity Washington. Love that, love that. Oh, Smith little shopper. Warren there, got it. Him. Warren, that time, took her time on the finish. Unlike the other two shots she's shot in, in the other possession. That was a great shot by, a good finish by McKenna Warren on that. Ayanku almost got it, as did Sonia Brown, but Chancellor still has it. Sonia Brown says, no, I didn't touch it. Officials will have nothing of it and give it to Chancellor. Delayla Johnson will throw it in. Scott. She's having a hard time tonight. Johnson, no. Good rebound. McKenna Warren right there in the right place at the right time. The reason she averages 11 rebounds a game, Donnie. She's averaging 11 points and 11 rebounds a game. And that's You can see why. Position. Position and hustle. Ayanku steps up, can't get it to go. Warren had it, lost it, and Sonia Brown comes up. Take it back up top. There you go. Good play. Get some time smart on. Smart girls. Smart Two, girls. 2.30 on the clock. Love it. Eating up clock. And you told me that 16- and 17-year-olds could not run clock they, the other night. They haven't run it yet. Is that just boys? Is that just boys? Maybe the girls can, but the Good. boys can't. The girls are probably better at it than the boys. All right, timeout on the floor, 212 to go, 51-39. We are going to pause for 30 seconds. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. Cash Imprints, 317-1473. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center, 825-2200. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Two minutes and 12 seconds left in the semifinal game in the Battlefield District Girls Tournament. 51 to 39, Eastern View has led all the way. The winner will take on James Monroe tomorrow night, and I presume it will be at Eastern View. And the Eastern View boys will also play tomorrow night for the championship Thank at you. Eastern View. I know that's for sure. They're going to have to start fouling there, Donnie. I expect to see some fouls here. Chancellor needs to foul. Surprise they're not fouling. Washington brings it on back out. They're trying to, but they can't get Trinity. <laughs> She's too fast for them. <laughs> they should be fouling. I'm not sure why they're not fouling. There you go. There you go. Bestick finally. Reagan Bestick got a foul in there. Well, you know, girls are not as aggressive sometimes on the court as boys are. Unless your name is uh, McKenna Warren. Well, that's true. 
I'll take her on my team anytime. Oh, yeah, but I mean, as far as fouling is concerned, yes. I mean, boys yes. would have no yes. problem. They would just go out there and hack up one time, and that's the end of it. But girls are a little, little more ladylike. Nice drive. Speak. Speaking and of Warren, she missed that one. But she, she concentrated and took her time on that finish. She just missed her shot that time, that's that, all. And Sanaya Brown will be called for the foul. That is the only the fifth team foul on the Cyclones in the second half. So they have got two to give. Kendall Scott almost lost that, trying to yeah. slow the game. That young lady didn't get enough shots tonight. And this, and this young lady right here can handle the ball. Look at that. Oh, I love the way Trinity uh, uh, Washington handles the ball and with both hands. Well, That's something the kids can learn. It's not only can only go right, can only go left. You got to be able to go both ways. You got to be able to use both hands uh, when when uh, dribbling the basketball. Well, she gonna go to the free throw line right now and shoot a one and one because. Chancellor is over the limit. Seventh foul. Got the first one, she'll get a bonus. 52 to 39. 13 point lead, biggest of the night for the Cyclones. Missed that one, but Destiny Washington gets it. And back out. Little run and hide, and a foul is called out front. Did you see Destiny Washington read the ball off the rim that time? That was a Dennis Rodman rebound. Knowing where the ball's going off the rim, that's part of rebounding. And the more you play the game, the more that will come to you where you can anticipate, like you said earlier, or where that ball is going. And that time, off the rim, she knew it was going to the right side. McKenna Warren dribbles that one in. Sixteen points for Warren. And let's get seventeen, and we do. Fifty-four thirty-nine. Cyclones gonna take this one home with a bang. And the Chargers call timeout. Timeout on the floor. One sixteen to go. And while we've got a timeout, we'll remind you once again of our sponsors. CFC Farm and Home Center, the service, knowledge, and the products you need for your farm, home, pets, and livestock since 1932. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with Cash Imprints, 317-1473. Found in Sons, they're more than just a respected funeral home. They support youth at all levels so they can become Tomorrow's leaders found in Suns 825-3530. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you might have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they're able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. And finally, our live sponsor, Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service, a cornerstone of our community, 547-3673. You know, back in the 50s, <laughs> the, before I was born, <laughs> the big thing among guys is, are you a Ford man or are you a Chevrolet man? There was no in-between there. Was Toyota was still incubating over in Japan, those, but uh, <laughs> Ford and Chevrolet, man, they... Everybody had a had their favorite. Johnson missed it. And a foul is going to be called. Well, I can see when Coach McCombs gets serious, he keeps the starters in there, and he's very limited on reserves. And, and, and I like that. I mean, and I think that's probably why he rested uh, McKenna Warren the first half, because he knew that the game was going to be on the line in the third and fourth quarters, and uh, she didn't get tired. She's still in there playing, and uh, I think that was a good move. Megan Closure 
at the free throw line, just coming into the ball game now. As uh, Antoine Gay sends his uh, subs in, everybody's going to get to play in this tournament game. Close your second shot. Short. McKenna Warren right there to get it. Gets it out to Destiny Washington. Then over to Trinity. Trinity going to break that. I can tell you, look, a little layup here. The young Koo got it. Nice dish off there by Washington. That's why I said earlier that if he, uh, Chancellor comes out in the press, they're playing right into Eastern View's hands. Bestic shot no good. The Yonku, 30 seconds and counting. And she, Washington is foul. She's got a little chip boots in her, Donnie. <laughs> well, huh? I haven't seen old Chipper lately. Chip's doing okay. I saw him. I, I, I run into him sometime at one of our favorite hangouts over Charlestown, but I haven't seen him <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think uh, Trinity's got a little, little, little oots in her and uh, bringing the ball up the court behind the back. Uh, between two and three people using that speed of hers. She looks good out there handling that ball. Washington, Trinity Washington at the line. 24 seconds left to go in the ball game. In and out, rebound comes down to Chancellor. Johnson for three, short. Hackley, 10 seconds, and I'm not sure if I was Chancellor, I would, I would foul. But we got a timeout here. Uh, what do you want to talk about? We're not going to. Well, Co Coach McCombs wants to get a couple players in the game just to let them play. But uh, we can talk about uh, me, 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 or we can talk about you, 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 or. How do we remind everybody again that uh, the Eastern View boys one tonight, 64 to 53 over King George to move into tomorrow night's Battlefield District Tournament Finals at Eastern View. And I'm not sure which game, they will play the second game, I would imagine. So uh, come on out and watch it. If you don't, we'll be there live. And the girls, I think, are going to play. They're the top seed, of course, so they will probably play home tomorrow night too. So we'll have a double header out at East View, a lot of basketball, a lot of good hot dogs. It was broke my heart tonight. The concession stand here had no hot dogs. Yeah, I could tell you tell you were disappointed, Donnie, and then you had to settle for pizza. No, no, I'm going to Hardy's afterwards. Well, I am too. I'm you, gonna, you buying tonight? I'm going to get a heart attack on a bun. I forgot my wallet. Are you buying tonight? You always forget your wallet. 10 seconds, Washington. Dribbling around, Trinity will get it off. And that shot, will it count? I don't know whether it counted or not. I don't think it did. They have not put it on the board. Final score. The Eastern View Cyclones win tonight's semifinal game over Chancellor by a score of 59 to 39. We'll be back with our post-game show in just a moment. You're watching Eastern View Cyclone basketball on the Culpeper Media Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the following community sponsors. Battlefield Automotive, featuring Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Battlefield Automotive, a keystone of service and a cornerstone of our community. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. CFC Farm and Home Center, the service, knowledge, and products you need for your farm, home, pets, livestock, and equine since 1932. CFC Farm and Home Center. From shirts to banners and everything in between, imprint your message on the community with Cash Imprints, 317-1473. More than just a respected funeral home, Found and Sons supports youth at all levels so they can become tomorrow's leaders. Found and Sons, 825-3530.
59 to 30 down our final score. The Eastern View Cyclone girls take it to the Chancellor Chargers. Gary Deal it was uh, it was close a lot of the way, but there in that fourth quarter, the number one seed just took it to the number four seed and came away with a 20 point win. Yeah, Eastern View uh, played smart. Uh, Coach McCombs uh, kept them in the flow. Uh, allowing them to play and on occasion calling a few plays uh, in half court sets and uh, and had a good game plan when it came to that as well and uh, between uh, Hayanke uh, Hayanku I'm sorry I want to make sure I pronounce that right and uh, Trinity Washington and uh, McKenna Warren uh, they had their way tonight in the second half uh, with Chancellor they did a good job on Kendall Scott, who's their number one scorer for the Chancellor Chargers. They, uh, McCombs came out with a box and one. Sonia Brown was on her in the first half, and it just kind of almost just cut her off good. Yeah. I, I like those gimmick defenses, and uh, it, it seems Coach McCombs does too. Uh, you know, the box and one or the triangle and two, sometimes it works to get the other team out of their uh, flow. And uh, that seemed to help in the first half tonight. Um, Scoring-wise, um, Angie uh, Hyanku had 16. Uh, McKenna Warren had 17. And Sonia Brown had 10 uh, for Eastern View. And uh, Kendall Scott led Chancellor with 11. Yeah, that was a tough 11 because Gulf Pepper defense, or Eastern View defensed her really well. It was a double victory tonight. The uh, Eastern View boys defeated King George by a score of 64 to 53. They will play, we don't know who yet, but they will play tomorrow night for the Battlefield District Boys Championship. And the uh, Eastern View girls will play James Monroe tomorrow night for the Battlefield District Girls Championship. Cortland had a girl test positive. They could not uh, play tonight and had to forfeit to James Monroe. So it'll be Eastern View's girls against James and Road of our night. Double championship possibilities. And, uh, you know, a couple of good coaches doing a good job this year with these kids. Yeah, I agree. And if McKenna Warren and Destiny Washington steep, keep controlling the boards like they are and allow Trinity Washington and uh, uh, Angie Hanyanku get out in transition on that break they're going to they're going to go a long way uh, as far as winning this district tournament but also in the regionals as well and i will make a prediction if the boys and the girls eastern view boys and the girls get more points than their opponents tomorrow night we'll have two champions and on that's, that note, that's a great observation, Donnie. <laughs> on that note, we will say good night and remind you that the final score of tonight's ball game, semifinals of the Battlefield District Girls Tournament, the Eastern View Cyclone Girls 59, and the Chancellor Chargers 39. You've been watching Eastern View Cyclone Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network.